Hi there, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. I'm excited to get classes started again soon. Uh, typically in the past, I've had a couple different classes and each one has kind of tackled a different theme. But this term, we're taking on one theme and we're going to kind of go at it from a couple different angles. Uh, and that theme, drum roll please, is Women of the Blues. I know a lot of folks really love the blues, um, as do I, even if we don't really understand why <laughs> uh, or, or much about where it comes from. We're going to take a look at the history of the, the blues in these classes, as well as the specific women who shaped this genre from the very beginning. So, for example, we'll definitely take a look at some songs by Ma Rainey, Bessie Smith. Those are kind of the, the, the most well-known women of the blues, uh, certainly Billie Holiday, as well as some lesser-known uh, folks such as um, uh, Memphis Minnie and uh, Alberta Hunter. We're gonna move forward in the 21st century though. We're also of course gonna take a look at Bonnie Raitt. I know she's a favorite of a lot of folks out there. Um, as well as Coco Taylor and some current artists that are still um, and newly on the, the performance circuit, so to speak, continuing to uh, carry that torch of the blues forward. So looking forward to this sort of survey of blues over the 21st century, or sorry, 20th century into the 21st century. What is time anymore anyway? <laughs> um, and uh, just excited to take a look at, at a really great body of, of songs and repertoire from this genre. Now, I'm teaching three different classes that are gonna offer kind of three different perspectives. And I wanna illustrate that through, uh, through one song. This, uh, this song is called Trouble in Mind. We're gonna play it in the key of C. Let me give you just a little bit of a taste of it and then I'll tell you how each class is gonna, is gonna approach that particular song. Here we go. Trouble in mind, I'm blue, but I won't be blue always, cause the sun's gonna shine in my back door someday. There you go, there's a little verse. That's how I would perform it if I were just kind of sitting around at a jam and playing it through. But there's so much richness there just in eight bars worth of music. So let's go through what these different classes are going to do with this one song. First up is Ukulele by Ear. This is the least technical of the three classes that I'm teaching because, as the name suggests, we're really focusing on developing our ears. So. Um, we will have, you know, just sort of the basic chord progression. We're not going to worry about the right hand too much. I'm just going to swing it through. But the key is that we're going to try to learn it so that I can look at you and you can look at me and we don't have to look at any paper. We're just going to sing it through. Trouble in. no frills version not a lot of technique but still a really rich song to to internalize to get used to playing and singing at the same time and really learning what I like to say you know from from the inside out really hearing and feeling that song inside of you also hearing the different patterns of the song that help you remember where your left hand fingers are supposed to go really hearing it in your ears rather than reading it with your eyes that's the focus of ukulele by ear as an optional add-on to the ukulele by ear class, um, I'll be teaching uh, an arrangements class as well. It's just an extra half hour at the end of the Wednesday class. Uh, and what we do there is take a look at melodies and how to integrate uh, these simple melodies into these, technically speaking, simple songs, just as a um, kind of a technical balance, so to speak, to the ear training that we're doing there. So for example, what we might learn in that class from Trouble in Mind is this, two, three. Thank you. 
So a little bit of melody in there. And I will say, typically, um, I recommend that folks have some experience playing and reading music on the ukulele ahead of time. Uh, but in this case, if you know how to read music, as in you can read the notes on the staff and identify what the names of the notes are, you don't actually have to know how to play them on the ukulele this term. We're going to start with the blues scale. So that's going to be kind of a, a, a reset button and, and, and new for everybody, no matter how much experience they have. Um, but I would recommend that you know how to read music, sort of the basics of it, in the treble clef. And then we can take a look at where these notes fit on the fretboard themselves and how to play just a melody by itself, uh, or as you saw me doing there, integrating it with, with some chords and some, some singing and strumming. Lots of options there, um, depending on your background. All right, so that's ukulele by ear. That is ukulele arrangements. Did I say I'm teaching three classes? It's really kind of like three and a half <laughs> in that case. Um, sing and strum. That's the other really popular class um, that I know folks love to come back to time and time again as we tackle these different genres. Here's where we're going to get into more of the technique, right? So I may have a little bit of that finger picking that I had before or not. Typically, if people want to literally sing and just strum, you're welcome to do that too. But this is where you're going to start to see some fancier chords. So we will definitely look at um, the jazzy chords that make their way into the blues, like uh, going from this F to this F sharp diminished, and then studying a little bit of these different progressions here, like this back cycling technique that we see, and then of course the techniques. tricks, I suppose we could call them too. Little techniques and tricks that we want to use to um, sort of add in a measure or two at a time into our playing um, to augment what we're doing with our strumming, to kind of break it up a little bit and take it take it one step, step further. So um, sing and strum again. We're going to see more of the tougher chords, tougher chord progressions, um, maybe a little bit of finger picking, but lots of options for finger picking versus drumming and all that. And then definitely some of these little tricks and turnarounds. Some of you have done that particular one with me before in the key of C. We'll take a look at what it looks like in other keys as well as other, um, other tricks that we can add in there as well. Finally, uh, I'm really excited that a lot of folks have been interested in the Beyond Beginner Ukulele class, uh, which is going to be focusing on right hand. So we're going to uh, have a couple chord options, right? If people are, are comfortable, say, with that diminished chord and want to work on it, that's great. But really the focus here is going to be on strumming and finger picking and all the different things that we can do with our right hand. So um, all the different variations or, or options that we have for a given song. So for this one, you know, we'll really study the difference between the swing strum and the standard strum, how to get that kind of swing feel uh, at the very basic root of it. And then what happens when we want to add some finger picking to it and what the best options are for it. Or sometimes we might want to mix it up. You may have heard I was doing this picking pattern and then, right? And how to start to work those into our playing as well. So again, that beyond beginner ukulele, right hand focus is gonna be just that, right? We're gonna take these songs and look more at what's happening in the right hand. I should say that um, Beyond Beginner Uke is gonna have um, some, of the, some of the blues songs, but it won't be exclusively blues material. I'll be borrowing from lots of different uh, sources since the focus of that is really on the right hand. It's not really a, a focus on the blues, but we'll definitely, definitely use the blues as uh, source material for working on our right hand techniques. So I hope that gives you a good uh, overview. We've got, again, ukulele by ear with that arrangements add-on if you want to in the Wednesday class. We've got sing and strum, and then we also have beyond beginner ukulele. I hope that clears up kind of our different approaches to, to say this one particular song. Um, all of these classes will probably have a core, you know, four to six, maybe even eight songs all in common. Um, some of the classes will go off kind of in one direction or in another direction. Um, Depending on what I decide, that's all a little bit TBD still as I kind of finalize these, these packets. Um, but every class will look into the history of it, and every class will certainly learn the song a way that you can play the song fully, right? Uh, in, in your practice and in your jams and in a, in a great way to, to incorporate it into your, to your repertoire of songs. Um, the other thing I will say is that if uh, you would like, you're more than welcome to take more than one class. There's been some interest in that. Um, you may find that uh, taking two live classes is a little much, right? But with this 
under normal circumstances, right? Because you've got completely different material. But in this case, we're going to have a lot of overlap. So might be nice if you wanted to do two different classes to look at them from two different angles, you're welcome to. You're also welcome to sign up for one class as a live class and then another as an email class. And what'll happen there is at the end of each week, you'll get an email from me with sort of a syllabus, your instructions for the week, materials and practice videos to work with. Say, for example, you're really working on your ear training, but you don't want to bypass those, those fun little tricks. So maybe you sign up for Sing and Strum as an email class, right? And then you've got all the material that you need, but you've got this extra, um, extra challenge that you can work on. Likewise, if none of the live classes work for your schedule or you just prefer to work at your own pace, you can take any or all of them um, at, uh, as an email class. So lots of options. One really great body of music we're going to be looking at. I'm really looking forward to it. As always, if you have any questions or if anything that I said today did not clarify for you what class you want to take, um, please let me know. You can always send me an email um, and uh, or respond to any of the emails that I send out to you. If you are on the newsletter, that all comes to me, and I'm happy to help you find the right fit. Let's have some fun with the women of the blues this term. Thanks so much. See you there.